Hi guys, in the previous video we saw George struggling with competition. He soon realised that cutting prices was not the answer. Hi, I'm Paul, and in this video we're going to talk about how George developed a better understanding of his customers in order to increase his chances of success. You see, the problem was, his customers could not tell the difference between him and his competitors. They didn't have sufficient information to evaluate the quote other than price. Therefore, they couldn't justify his higher quote. George knows that his customer always has three choices. He can buy from him, he can buy from his competitor, or from no one. By recognizing this, George can focus on one simple question. What would matter to me if I was the customer? It's subtle, but it makes a big difference. He starts to consider, what type of interaction would he want to experience with a contractor if he had an important project at home? Most of his prospects don't buy his services very often. They really have no clue what makes one contractor better than the other. So George decided he has to find ways to differentiate himself in his attitude and his presentation. He thought about the common questions he would ask if he was the customer. One, expertise. Will the contractor be able to bring my vision to life? Two, time. Will they be able to complete the job when promised or will it drag on and on? Three, communication. How often will I get updates on progress? Four, safety. Can I trust the contractor to be alone in my house or with my family? And most important of all, service. Will they care about the quality of work they leave behind? George found that when he discussed those concerns with potential customers, it helped him get a better feel of what outcomes they would be expecting on their project. He found that by listening to what they wanted and didn't like, he had better conversations. He could more easily convey that he would be the best guy to deliver on their vision before he even prepared their quotes. And George quickly noticed that with these new strategies, the customers were far less concerned about the actual price when he presented it. Then he came up with three cool strategies for how to write up his quotes. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.